Hi, my name is Zakiron, and welcome to my video podcast, Be Happy and the Optimal Career Will Come, which is my second video in my Be Happy and What You Want Will Come to You series. Now, video number one, which is on my website and my videos and on YouTube, was entitled Be Happy and the Money Will Come, as opposed to When I Get the Money, Then I will be happy, which is a faulty strategy leading to heartache and struggle rather than fulfillment and ease, which is what most people on planet Earth go through on a daily basis because they have those things backward. So in a similar vein, in this case, in this podcast, it's get, it's get happy and a career that makes you happy and prosperous will come, rather than the faulty strategy that most people use, which is when I find a career or profession that makes me the money I desire, then I'll be happy. So in this case, it's fine, be happy, get happy, and the career that makes me happy and that will help me make uh, manifest the money to make me happy will occur naturally. And and in a fun way. So, unfortunately, most people in society uh, do not understand the immense power that they possess to create whatever they want, which is why society values action above all things to make things happen. But action alone is a very powerless and impotent rather than powerful and potent in nature. Trying to find the right career or profession or business or investment using external strategies that gives you the money you desire, that will give you the freedom and the, and the, the joy and the happiness um, uh, that ultimately will make you happy is vibrationally backwards. And because that life strategy is so backwards, most people struggle to find the optimal career that makes them happy. Because their happiness always seems close, but just out of reach, like the classic carrot being dangled in front of the donkey. If happiness is your goal anyway, then why not just be happy now, regardless of your circumstances? Why not just bypass the middleman? A more direct course of action would be for people to make their primary focus in their lives or their careers in life to just be happy, live a happy life. Rather than trying to find a career and the money and the relationships and make the deals and the agreements that will somehow miraculously make them happy. And then maybe, just maybe, you will be inspired towards careers that are in alignment with that natural state of happiness. If you make living a happy life your career choice, then you will naturally attract careers and investments and businesses, etc., that will also make you happy and be the happy icing on your cake of happiness. And when you can achieve that, you have found the holy grail of fulfillment. When you can do as Joseph Campbell has recommended and just follow your bliss, then you naturally attract careers and professions and creations and crafts and opportunities that match that bliss. And even if you don't exactly know what your bliss is, as long as you're on the trail towards bliss, as long as you're just thinking, what's a better way to think here? What's a better way to act? What feels better? What feels better? Always be asking yourself, what feels better? Does it feel better to think this thought? Does it feel better to do this or that? You know, does it feel better to, to jump and take that action or to do nothing? So follow your feelings, follow your excitement, follow your joy. So for the optimal guidance, you must always use the principles of the law of attraction. For instance, people use the faulty strategy of doing things they don't like doing 
doing jobs and careers they often dislike and even hate in order to get something that they do like and they do want and do love, like money, so that they can finally be happy. You cannot have a happy result from an unhappy journey. If you are unhappy, you will always attract more unhappiness. So your happiness will elude you. Classic carrot on the stick. You will always be chasing that carrot, which is the cause of greed and envy and relationship conflict and dramas and all manner of conflict and war, etc. <clears throat> People are trying to find happiness where it does not exist because they are not having a happy journey. A good analogy is sex. You don't necessarily make love with another person to just get to the end, to finally orgasm, to come, to be done. At least not optimally, anyway. You make love for the journey. You make love for the adventure, for the bliss, for the sensuality, for the pleasure, for the fun. Not to just get it done. I've been there, done that. The orgasm should be a natural conclusion from an absolutely joyful, blissful, exciting, adventurous journey. It's the journey of getting to the top of the mountain that is the most fulfilling. Not just so you can say, I got to the top, yay, I'm a legend. The best lover is the one who is in absolutely no hurry at all to get to the top of the mountain. The best lover is the one that enjoys every small peak and valley on the way to the top of the mountain. So, the same analogy applies to life. The most fulfilled and happy people are those souls who enjoy every small peak and valley on the way to the top of the mountain. They're happy every step of the adventure, not bitching and moaning that they're not to the top of the mountain yet. None of us came to earth to get anything done. We came here for the adventure of creation. We didn't come here to put feathers in our caps and notches on our belts or notches on the bedpost or to get the awards or the statues of our pretty faces. We're not here to prove our worth to anything or anyone. We're here for the joy of creation because we are immensely powerful beings and we can create whatever we want. We're here for the fun of it. No other reason whatsoever. We're here for the joy of creating our desires into physical reality and then delighting in our immense power and worth that we did that I did that I created that so get happy in the optimal career that adds to your happiness will come get happy in the money that adds to your happiness will come get happy in the relationships the love that adds to your happiness will come develop the art of appreciation and focusing upon what is easy to like love and appreciate and focus on things that add to your happiness and you will continually attract more and more situations and opportunities and people that add to your ever growing levels of happiness and abundance and joy etc make happiness your career and everything that you desire that you want to be, do, and have in your life that you believe will make you happy will naturally come to you. It has to. So, I'm not going to call myself a happypreneur or maybe a joypreneur. And when someone asks me what I do for a living, I will use the slogan I've adopted from Wayne Nugent. Uh, I'm making a living living life. I'm making a living being happy. I'm a joypreneur. My primary focus in life is to be happy because I know that the purpose of my life and the purpose of life in general is joy. 
and fun. And my mission in life is to be happy. And have as much fun as possible, and then have more fun and more fun, and then have more fun and then more fun, and look for things that add to my happiness, and look for things that are fun to do, and th look for things that are fun to talk about and think about. And I enjoy helping others to remember that their purpose in life is also joy. And they are here for the joy of creation. So I will do my best to inspire others to remember that fact and remember the infinite power they have to create anything they desire by being happy first, by getting happy first. Then they will attract everything in life that they will add to that happiness. And you can do the same thing. Get happy first. Get happy. Be happy. Find things that are easy to like, love, and appreciate to make you happy. And then everything you want will naturally come that will make you even happier. That will add, add, add to your happiness exponentially. So I hope you enjoyed this video podcast. I, if you got something from it, please comment, share it with your friends, bless them with these amazing teachings. Come visit me at Zakyron. Dot com for more self-empowering videos and podcasts and articles and books and products and coaching and support and guidance to help you become a deliberate, conscious creator of reality so that you can create and attract the happiness, health, wealth, abundance, and freedom that you desire. My name is Zakyron and I help success-minded people create, create the happiness, health, wealth, and abundance and freedom that you love. Thanks again for watching this video or listening to this podcast, and I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And, of course, always remember to make life a holiday. Yeah, baby.